Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the GAMCO number G-950FA. The G950 is representative of the fact that this is a uh, automatic soap dispenser from GAMCO. The uh, FA means foam type soap. This would be for the type of foaming soaps that you would be using uh, rather than the liquid soaps, which you could use the G-950SA. That's the part number for foaming uh, for uh, liquid soaps. This is a very simple unit. There's not a lot of setup required. There's no setup required really, other than installation and giving it batteries. Uh, and let's go over it now. So first of all, this is a very attractive and petite sort of stainless steel covered automatic soap dispenser. This uh, unit. Let's go over the dimensional properties of it. And there are a couple of links below this video to the uh, product uh, data which shows uh, all the important topics that we'll touch on. First of all, there's a link to a cut sheet which gives those important dimensional properties. You can see that this is four and a quarter wide and that an overall height is about ten and a half. Okay. Projection off the wall is about four and an eighth. This is a 18-8 uh, type 304 satin finish stainless steel uh, and is going to include, the package will include obviously the unit itself. It will include a key that's going to be required for allowing you to access the unit. We'll go over that in a moment. You're going to get four plastic anchors and four screws for installing the material. You're going to get a couple of pieces of, and this package has three, pieces of self-adhesive tape. So let's go over this. Let's get the key open. You'll get one key. It's a tubular style key. Get that open and retract the unit so that you can pull it open. That's what it looks like right there. Okay. Very simple and straightforward. What you have here is the uh, soap container connected to the nozzle assembly. You've got the electronics that are happening down here with the sensor. Uh, we'll talk about that in a moment. This uh, unit is easily shown by removing it. You've got a lid. This is a 27 ounce capacity. That's what this is. For foaming soap. That will insert back into where you took it out. Very simple and that's it. That's all you do. Uh, now installation of this I am certainly, um, I would not hesitate to use the adhesive tape as a means of initially getting it installed on the wall. I would absolutely not install this without using screws. Uh, it is my opinion that the uh, installation instructions kind of lead you to believe that that's either method is okay. I, I don't, I would never agree that it is. Tile is too, you know, closed, you know, poor, you know, closed sort of smooth surface to really get adhesive in my opinion to reliably work with a piece of electronic equipment. Now let's go over the uh, cut sheet since we're looking at it. The housing uh, paragraph indicates the type of material that this is made of which we've uh, discussed. Uh, backplate incorporates mounting screw holes and the mounting tape. There's a small amount of recess to what's happening here and that mounting tape is so thin that you'd be able to get it and compress it down so that it was adequately flush with the face of the wall. Uh, equipped with concealed mounting clear acrylic refill indicator window which is here. Okay, Key, lock, plastic container 27 ounce capacity. Now the operation portion of the cut sheet to fill the dispenser, remove the lid, fill with foaming hand soap solution. Dispenses foaming hand soap solution of viscosities from 0 to 150 CPS. That will be in the technical data or the MSDS of the soap that you'll provide. After refilling this or filling it, um, this cap, they're saying do not tighten it. Y you need to put it on so that it's on the unit but you're going to want to make sure just that it's not tight. There needs to be a very small amount of airflow. Small amount, but nonetheless an airflow to get 
the sensor to pull the soap out and down. So don't tighten it down. You'll need to get it closed in order just to get the lid back on. There'll be a small amount of contact there if you don't tighten it down uh, right there. So getting it on, and then of course, once it's in there, it won't move. Uh, airflow is necessary inside the container for dispensing. To activate the dispenser, place the hand under the spout for approximately one second. Sensing range comes at factory setting of two and a half inch. Uh, the sensing range set at the factory is recommended for optimal performance. Jumping to the next document that we're gonna go uh, over, which are the installation instructions. There is no way to field, alter the sensing range of the unit. It's not something that can be changed from the factory setting of two and a half inch. Uh, re, uh, the window indicates when a refill is required. Okay. Now, uh, getting this down to uh, the installation aspect, uh, what you're going to do when I've installed these, I have taken care to review the installation instructions and we need to look at that now. There is a link below this video to the installation instruction and that document is going to give you the important dimension of top of the counter, tabletop they call it, to the nozzle, which is part 10 here. Uh, of 7 and 7 eighths of an inch. You're going to want to be very clear that you've got that uh, dimension. You don't want to prematurely activate the uh, soaping uh, sensor. So back to the cut sheet. You've got 7 and 7 eighths. What I like to do is mark my holes, obviously prep them. You're, there are four holes. You can only get to them by removing the unit. One, two, three, four. I like to get all of those marked off, drilled, uh, double checked, anchors included or attached. I like to be able to um, utilize the keyhole prep so that I'm prepping my holes closer to the top of this. Okay. Once I know that I've got my preparation done and ready to go, you'll find that using the keyhole slots and having the tape already applied might be a challenge. Uh, but nonetheless, I will run, I won't, you know, use the wider area of the bottom portion for installation, just the top area. I'd like to have that tape there, although it's certainly not required. I've installed them without it, really made no difference whether or not it was there because you've got it mechanically fastened. Installation. So they're saying install dispenser at least 200 millimeter or 8 inch from any projection or horizontal surface, which may interfere with the operation of the automatic sensor. Mount the dispenser to the wall uh, with the enclosed screws or however, whatever fasteners you might require. Um, the prepared mounting tape may also be used. I don't believe in, like we discussed earlier, not as a substitute. Four AA batteries are what will be included, or pardon me, required. They're not included. Battery cover is here. Battery harness is here. Oh, you can't see that. Battery cover is here. That snaps off. Battery harness. You want to want to be careful with that. The wire leads are going to it. Four AA batteries. Okay. After filling the soap dispenser, do not tighten the lid, as we discussed earlier. Airflow is necessary. Automatic wall mounting soap dispenser specification catalog uh, paragraph now. Made of type 304 satin stainless steel, corrosion resistant valve shall dispense a variety of foaming hand soaps between that zero and 150, well, one and 150 uh, CPS viscosity. Lockable housing, 27 ounce capacity. Now moving on to the installation instruction, the upper right hand corner gives all the technical details of the item. Uh, knowing the viscosity, knowing the battery type, and there is uh, a a difference there. They're, they're not C batteries that are required. They're certainly double A. Uh, you've got all that information there. You've got a parts list that is indicated there as well on the left hand side, but then you've got your user instructions. Once you know where you're placing it, uh, you know, eight inch, let's say, you got a two and a half inch sensing range. Place hand below the dispenser spout within the sensing range. 
the dispenser will automatically release the preset amount of liquid or foam, foam in this case, from the nozzle spout, obtain additional silt by withdrawing hand, placing it again underneath. Um, it is also true that the amount of silt is not adjustable. Uh, you cannot change the amount delivered. Sensing range, sensing is automatically controlled to set the appropriate distance for the triggering zone. This is based on the mounting height above the counter or floor, not floor, but the mounting height, and the ambient and reflected lighting conditions. There are no user adjustable controls for this feature. It is important to observe the installation position and install the unit above the minimum distance noted, which is at seven and seven eighths. If lighting conditions change during the life of the installation, the unit will automatically readjust itself to accommodate the new environment with no intervention by the owner. Countertop reflective quality changes constitute a new environmental condition and may require relocation to adjust above the appropriate minimum level. So I've not had to ever relocate these whatsoever. Generally a bathroom is, you know, doesn't have windows in it and the lights are always on, so that's really never an issue uh, for uh, that sort of situation. The name Gamco is synonymous with all things commercial bathroom hardware related. Gamco is a sister company to Bobrick, as is Koala. Those three companies together give a comprehensive offering of bathroom hardware, not only in terms of spectrum of what they offer, but calibers of material. Sometimes it will be lower cost or more cost effective items that you might see in a motel application uh, that you might require 500 of them, maybe not 500, but several hundred. And Gamco would be the brand that you might look for in terms of that material. Heavy duty, high end sort of application, probably Bobrick. And of course, Koala, the name is synonymous with baby changing stations. If you have any questions on the Gamco number G-950FA automatic soap unit or any other Gamco product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you very much.